you have to lose your fear of failure. Failure is a part of the process. People who never fail, never try. You have to fail. You got to get it wrong to get it right. You learn nothing from winning. You only learn from your failures. Your mind has to be stronger than your feelings. Think about every poor decision you've made in your life. There was more emotion that was involved in it than there was mind. Every single one of them. Think about it. it really was. Your feelings keep you in bed. Your mind tells you, get up. I'm sure people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on. Make sure you got something to fall back on, honey. But I never understood that concept. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything. I want to fall forward. If you don't have what you want, stop telling yourself the story because you don't have the money, you don't have the time. That's bullshit. It's because you haven't committed yourself where you would burn your boats. If you want to take the fucking island, burn your fucking boats and you will take the island because people, when they're going to either die or succeed, tend to succeed. Here's the truth. This is the reality. Nobody's going to believe in you until you've already done it. Nobody's going to come and celebrate with you until you've already done it. The work is going to come before the belief, which means you're going to have to work for a long fucking time by yourself with no applause, with no awards, with nobody telling you good job. And then once you start to build something and people start to see the momentum and they start to see the result and you start doing some things, then you're going to get a little belief. And then what's going to happen is you're going to believe. And then what's going to happen? You're going to go do a little bit more work and a little bit more work. The results are going to come more. More people are going to believe. Nobody fucking believes in you because you haven't done anything yet. That's the reality. We all live in this bubble. What you got to do to get the life that God wants you to have, you got to put more air in your bubble. You got to blow your bubble up. Expand yourself. Take yourself out your comfort zone. Do you have the guts to fail? If you don't fail, you're not even trying. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Imagine you're on your deathbed, and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use and they're standing around your bed, angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are gonna be around your bed when your time comes? No matter how much emotion and feeling you may have, or how much hurt you may have, Life has to go on. I can't stand in the past and bathe in what was wrong. If you want to make a change, you have to change your vision of who you are. You have to begin telling yourself a different narrative. And the narrative you tell yourself about yourself is everything. And if you tell yourself that you're a scared, undereducated kid whose family has never accomplished anything, let me tell you what you will become. A scared, undereducated kid never accomplishes anything because that's what you believe. You tell yourself that story enough, and it will become real. On the flip side, you could tell yourself a story of, you're a learner. You learn faster than most people. You're willing to put in more work than most people. You're willing to read more books than most people. You're willing to spend an inhuman amount of time every day improving your mind simply by getting new ideas into the system. Ten years of motherfucking work when everybody else is partying, making excuses, it's gonna pay off. Just like all of us, 
We all had our tests. God gives us our tests to really show how strong we really are. Tests that we don't even know, maybe losing our parents at a young age. Or maybe losing somebody that affected our family or did something that somebody was a rush. Just whatever it may have been. So it may have affected us. It may have been for you know, I mean, a matter of years, you know, and that's what it's really come to going overcoming the adversity in life. It's what happens when you deal with that adversity. What are you gonna do? You gonna let you gonna lay down for it or you gonna keep fighting it? And that's what life's about, fighting adversity and overcoming adversity and seeing what kind of person. Are you going to be bitter and mean because life wasn't kind to you? Or you figured it wasn't kind to you? Or are you going to just then live life to its fullest means? And most of what you are trying to accomplish today or tomorrow is the same thing you were trying to accomplish 20 years ago. You're the same person that you were then. If you lose that little spark that kept you motivated, because that's the most important thing, that's the thing that's, that's going to bother you more than anything else, you will look at yourself one day and you won't know who you are because you don't remember who you were. You know, sometime along the way, or maybe at 13 or 14, we let go of the little person that kept us going. That person, when we get about 13 or 14, we get embarrassed of them. And we push them aside and we don't listen to them anymore. And after so long of a time, maybe 10, 15 years, you don't even know him. You show up at your own door and you don't even know who you are. Your family doesn't know who you are. So it's important no matter what you do, no matter what challenges you go through, you remember who you are. पानी को बर्फ में बदलने के लिए वक्त लगता है पानी को बर्फ में बदलने के लिए वक्त लगता है ढले हुए सूरज को निकलने के लिए वक्त लगता है पानी को बर्फ में बदलने के लिए वक्त लगता है ढले हुए सूरज को निकलने में वक्त लगता है थोड़ा धीरज रख थोड़ा धीरज रख थोड़ा और जोर लगा थोड़ा धीरज रख थोड़ा और जोर लगाता रहे किस्मत से जंग लड़ने के दरवाजे को खुलने में वक्त लगता है दुश्मन ने सर झुकाया जब देखा हम मैदान में निकलते खड़े थे तलवार पहले टूटी फिर कटी बाज में बावजूद उसके हम अंत तक लड़े थे कि ना थके हैं पांव कभी ना ही हिम्मत हारी है ना थके हैं पांव कभी ना ही हिम्मत हारी है मैंने देखे दौर कहीं आज भी मेहनत जारी है और ये मेहनत तब तक करते रहो जब तक कि तुम्हें तुम्हारी मन जिंदा मिल जाए चाहे धरती पर कुछ भी हो उससे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा इरादा तेरा सच्चा है पीडब्ल्यू का तू बच्चा है और सुन ध्वन कहां तक पाला जाए युद्ध कहां तक टाला जाए राणा का तू बंसा जाए फेद भाला जहां तक जाए दोनों और लिखाओ आई सिक्का वही उछाला जाए